Hi guys, we're going to go through again with Jonathan today the nickel plating process. Over to you, Jonathan. Right, so as with the zinc one, we've got the, the same setup of the uh, rods and clips yep. arrangement. The solution comes in a, a one kilogram pack, that's enough to make up a five litre plating solution. So that's dissolved in hot water, it can be done directly in the tank. Yep. That's uh, already considered a bright nickel finish, but if you want an even brighter finish there is a nickel brightener available that can be added after the salts have dissolved. Just add that and then stir that into the tank okay. and then that, that gives the brightest possible finish directly out of the and tank. We add that full bottle to the five litre yeah, solution? That's, yeah, there's, there's five mil in there, okay. so that's enough for a five litre. So if you were making up a 10 litre solution, you'd need two of those and, and two, two of those. those. Okay. So we're gonna set up the, the nickel anodes. Connects on there, and then these again, what you want to make sure is that the, they're in the solution at, at a height that is suitable for the item that you're plating. Okay. These can be, can be cut up, by the way, if you don't need the full size, they're easy to cut, so you can adjust them. Okay. Like that. Okay. So again, those are, those are suspended and those can be raised and lowered depending on the volume of solution that you've got in the tank. Same again for the other side. Like that. That. And then same again for the power supply and control unit. Red to the red and black to the black. Okay. On sleeve. You've got the solution in there, then the anodes are in place. Um, power supply again plugged into there and make that connection first. So select your voltage and have that plugged into the mains first. You then take your item again, tie it off on this bar, clip that onto the, the black bar and that will be your part that's, that's plated in there. That completes the circuit and it'll start plating. And timing wise? The longer you leave it in, the thicker the layer will be, the better the protection. So it's going to be minimum 45 minutes an hour. Right. Ma many people leave it overnight. Night. And again, cleaning, absolutely essential, got to be cleaned, got to be rinsed. It's got to be free free of any contaminants, in which in rust is the biggest factor yeah, of those. Much. If there's any rust on a part in an area, it's not going to play it. It needs to be fully removed, fully clean, chemically clean, free of oil, grease, anything like that is going to interfere with it. So, so the actual finished colour on this is going to be, have a slightly reflective finish? Yes, yeah. um, the, the level of brightness and reflection is depends on the part and how flat the surface is, yeah. like anything else, the, the flatter and smoother it is, the brighter and more reflective it's going to be. Okay. Similar to chrome in that regard, yep. this was used in, in vintage vehicles before chrome cut came along and it can, it can be repolished and polished to a very high level. Right. Okay. It's got a slightly more yellowish hint to it than chrome, chrome's more of a bluish yeah. tone, but, but, few, but... but similar on the luster okay. type levels, yeah. This, this one requires a tank heater. These salts are not as conductive as the zinc ones, so the zinc ones can be operated at a lower temperature, room temperature, if it's yep. not incredibly cold. These ones will need to be raised up to around 30 degrees to get the right. conductivity up, okay. so a tank heater is required for this one. Brilliant. With all the kits that we supply for the electroplating process, you do get, a, if you will, a bit of a starter kit, if you wouldn't mind, Jonathan. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All this is, it's just a brass washer. What's always best to do is, particularly if you're unfamiliar and you're setting this up for the first time, is just to have something that you can play it originally. Just, a just to piece. check that, every, that you, everything's set up correctly. Just make sure that you can be confident that everything's the working. The process is working. And it's working and that the salts are all made up okay. And just play it that as a, as a first thing. Yeah. And then that you can make sure that everything, Electrically is working correctly and that the salts and solutions are all okay. So but very useful things. Absolutely. Like I said, we, we actually supply that with every kit that we sell. Wonderful. Thank you very much.